everybody, A. Ali Floors again here with OrlandoVacation.com, giving you some tips and tricks on how to make your Orlando vacation awesome. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about the universal guide for couples. All right, baby. All right, so let's talk date nights at Universal. Yep, you heard me. Is Universal Studios for couples? You know what? You bet it is. And we're going to share some of the best resorts, romantic ideas, and dining options for you and your loved one. Join us as we dive right in. Before we dive, you know, you're right there at the edge. Don't jump in yet. Go hit subscribe and the bell icon so you can get notified of new and helpful videos for planning your next Orlando vacation. All right, let's talk about these resorts, okay? Universal Orlando has some amazing resorts on site that guests can stay at. By staying in these resorts, guests get exclusive Universal Orlando benefits such as early access into the park on specific days and the Universal Express Unlimited Pass to skip the queue lines. These resorts also offer transportation to the parks this can include buses or boat rides. First on our list of resorts, Lowe's Portofino Bay Hotel. Ah, oh, this beautiful hotel themed around Portofino, Italy, will transport guests across the Atlantic. With outdoor cafes and shops surrounding the courtyard, guests can lounge by the strip or by the pool if they prefer. There's also a Mandara Spa on site as well, where guests can get a massage, pedicure or manicure, or use the spa amenities after. This includes sauna and steam rooms, as well as a co-ed hydrotherapy pool. That sounds amazing. A perfect experience for couples to really relax and enjoy themselves together. If you plan on staying at Portofino Bay and go into the Mandara Spa, we highly recommend making a reservation with the Mandara Spa as they frequently book up fast. Now, just down the riverway, we have the Hard Rock Hotel. Now, I know what you're thinking. How is the Hard Rock Hotel romantic and for couples? There's amazing rocker couples out there. This is the perfect place. It's decorated in classic rock and roll memorabilia. This hotel is sure to turn some heads. Guests can lounge in the Palm Line resort style swimming pool, complete with underwater music. That's right. You can feel like a dolphin underwater listening to music because everyone knows dolphins listen to music in the ocean. And if you didn't know that, now you do. Don't. Don't look it up, just trust me, it happens. And kids, don't, don't ask your teachers if that's true. Okay, so they have cabana rentals in case you and your partner want something a little more private. Hard Rock Hotel also offers Rock Ohm. I get it, it's like Rock On, but Rock Ohm. It's an in-room yoga class, namaste. This class is complimentary with your stay and is set to the beat of a custom soundtrack. You and your loved one can try your hand at yoga in the comfort of your own room. If you're wanting a nice on-site hotel for Universal without having to spend too much money, maybe try Universal's Aventura Hotel. Complete with a rooftop bar, it's awesome, I've been in that bar, it's amazing. This hotel offers an amazing view of all three Universal Orlando theme parks. Guests staying here have a dedicated walking path straight to Universal's Volcano Bay. No need to take a bus to get back to your hotel room. This hotel is perfect for giving you that convenience of staying at an on-site hotel while still being affordable. Here's a pro tip for you. If you're staying on-site at one of the Universal Orlando Resort hotels, you can pool hop. Yeah. You can go to the Hard Rock Hotel pool, jam out to some tunes underwater, like a dolphin, we've established this, before going right over to the Portofino Bay's adult-only pool to lounge. Maybe head over to the Sapphire Falls for their water slide and hop across the street to try out Cabana Bay's water slide too. Half of the fun of staying on site is pool hopping. You get access to all the amenities at the resort, so um, why not use them? Now, one of the great things about staying at certain resorts is the fact that you can take the boat to and from the parks. These water taxis go between the resorts and City Walk, giving guests prime access to the parks. And honestly, nothing beats a lovely nighttime boat ride with your loved one. Maybe you'll get lucky and have the boat all to yourself. Well, I mean, not really all to yourself. I mean, you have the captain, but you know what? The captain might be good looking. You can, you know, they might get a little romantic too. Maybe he sings. Maybe she, she plays a violin. You don't know. Ask. Uh, <laughs> so I'm trying to make this romantic for you. Uh, okay, so. 
Even if you're not staying on site at one of the resorts that offer this form of transportation, I definitely suggest doing it anyways. Take a boat ride from CityWalk over to Portofino and have a nice moonlit stroll. Maybe get some gelato to share at Galateria. Honestly, that on its own would be a wonderful date night. Now, let's talk a little bit about inside the park. If you're wanting to have that romantic vacation with your loved one at Universal, a great idea might be to do Universal's VIP experience together. The VIP experience is a guided tour throughout the park. This can be either Universal Orlando, Islands of Adventure, or both. The tour is a group tour, but only lasts a few hours and includes front of the line access, reserved seating at shows, a continental breakfast, and lunch, plus a Universal Express Unlimited Pass. Regardless of whether this is your first time going to the parks or if you've been a dozen times, this might be a great opportunity for you both. Also, since you're getting the unlimited express pass, it'll save you time so then you can go on that moonlit stroll later on in Portofino. Always thinking. Are you and your partner um, super into Harry Potter? Well. If you are, here's an idea. Head over to Universal Studios Diagon Alley and step into a world like no other. In Diagon Alley, you and your loved one can get your very own wand at Ollivander's, get your robes at Madame Malkin's, and take the Hogwarts Express over to Hogsmeade on your adventure to Hogwarts. Share a butterbeer or two and enjoy this time spent together. What's better than matching your partner and geeking out over something you both love? I'll answer that, nothing. If you and your partner are super into comics, you can get your Marvel feel at Islands of Adventures. Home to Marvel Superhero Island, you both can enjoy the hidden Easter eggs in the area, meet some of your favorite superheroes, and ride some amazingly themed rides. They've got Spider-Man, Captain America, Cyclops, Wolverine, Storm, Rogue, Doctor Doom, the Green Goblin, Wolverine, Wolverine's my favorite. Maybe your partner's super into Spider-Man. Well, now they can meet them. And if characters aren't your theme, maybe ride the Incredible Hulk coaster or the Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man. Both rides are some of my favorites. Another great idea in Islands of Adventure is Camp Jurassic, located right inside Jurassic Park. Camp Jurassic is a dinosaur-themed playground featuring caverns, mines, climbing nets, and slides. It doesn't matter how old you or your partner are, as long as you're still kids at heart, you're gonna enjoy Camp Jurassic. If climbing through the ropes isn't your thing, that's fine. There's a beautiful indoor cavern inside Camp Jurassic that features a geyser. Guests can cross over the geyser on a rope bridge if they're feeling adventurous, or just enjoy the view from the sidelines. This can be a great place to rest and enjoy each other's company. Honestly, just going on rides together can be great for you and your partner. Inside of Universal Studios, they have the Men in Black Alien Attack ride. On Alien Attack, you and your partner are given the opportunity to shoot aliens that are overtaking New York. As you shoot the aliens, you have a counter keeping track of your score, hit more targets than your partner, and then you have bragging rights for the rest of your day. You're welcome. Also, they just updated uh, Men in Black Instead of hitting the red button to get 100,000 points at the end, um, your Will Smith character slaps the last alien. So there's that. If you're wanting some more of that healthy competition, I suggest going head to head at Hollywood Drive-In Golf at CityWalk. Here, you and your partner can choose between the haunting of ghostly greens or the invaders from Planet Putt. Or if you can't decide, do a double feature, do both. These mini golf courses are themed around elaborate movie style scenes and are honestly a great way for you and your partner to make memories together. I highly suggest doing these courses at night so you both can see everything all lit up. Here's a little tip from me to you. If you are going to be doing the mini golf, how about put some, uh, put some stakes at each one of the holes? Maybe hole nine, if anybody wins that particular hole, the loser has to make dinner or the winner gets to choose where they're gonna have dinner. Just saying, little fun romantic uh, banter and betting goes a long way. Now, if you're wanting an amazing restaurant to dine at during your trip to Universal Orlando Resort with your partner, look no further than Mythos, located inside of Islands of Adventure. This restaurant has been awarded the world's best theme park restaurant countless times, and it absolutely deserves it. This fine dining restaurant offers a mix of Mediterranean, Asian, and American fare. The theme for the restaurant is absolutely stunning and will leave you and your partner breathless. They have an outdoor part as well, 
especially over the sunset, you can overlook the water, you see Hulk in the distance. It's really, really nice. If you're looking to eat outside of the parks, maybe try getting a reservation at Big Fire and City Walk. Big Fire is based around those summer nights that were spent cooking on a campfire. The food is absolutely delicious as they cook right on an open fire. Big Fire uses different types of woods when cooking, like live cherry, pecan, and oak. These different woods bring out the flavors in the meat you never thought were possible. Absolutely delicious. And for dessert, you and your loved one can split some s'mores right at the table. Your server can bring out the table side s'mores, which include marshmallows, chocolate, graham crackers, and peanut butter cups. And you and your partner can toast marshmallows together perfect way to end the night. Another great restaurant to dine at at CityWalk is Toothsome's Chocolate Emporium. This restaurant is themed to everything steampunk and chocolate. Because when you think steampunk, chocolate is the only thing you think of. You may have seen their milkshakes before, absolutely stunning. Here, you and your loved one can share the warm chocolate almond bread, dine on your choice of entree before maybe sharing one of those amazing milkshakes. Before leaving, stop by their store to grab some delicious chocolates and pastries to take back to the hotel. Yeah, you'll thank me later. And if chocolates aren't enough to satisfy that sweet tooth, maybe you and your partner should go to Voodoo Donut. Oh. This donut shop offers more than 50 types of donuts daily. They have standard donuts offered all year round, such as your classic glazed, old-fashioned, plain, and sprinkle donuts. However, they also offer specialty donuts, some of which are for a limited time. Voodoo Donuts is usually packed with guests, so we recommend ordering on the mobile app ahead of time for pickup so you don't have to waste time waiting in line. Now for some tips for your trip. Plan ahead of time. This can mean buying tickets, making hotel reservations, maybe getting these dining reservations made, or even purchasing matching themed shirts or anything you may want to make your trip the most memorable. Perhaps consider purchasing a photo package through uh, Universal Orlando Resort so you can keep those memories forever. This includes photos done in the park, at the character meet and greets, and on the attractions. You get them all. By purchasing the photo package, you also get a 4x6 and a 5x7 photo print of your choice. And finally, just remember that you're on vacation with a loved one. Take the time to enjoy that. This can mean sleeping in a little bit longer or getting ready early in the morning together before heading to the parks. Just remember that you're enjoying the time you have together. So live in that moment. If you're looking for more tips and tricks for your next Orlando vacation or need help planning, be sure to check out our website at orlandovacation.com where we offer the best discounted prices and have a variety of blogs to help you make the most out of your Orlando vacation. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye everyone.